And I gave it for the checking and all, and finally I got into the area. Yeah, yeah. Much better. Oh. So then you could check yes. yes. Welcome, sir. Please come. Welcome, our chief guest. Sir, sir. And good morning, everyone. Sir, I'm just making sure everybody is alert and awake. <laughs> All right, for orthopedic surgeries, a very warm welcome to every member in this audience, including our chief guest, Mr. Arbaz Khan, and very, very chief uh, uh, doctors who are in the room. A uh, lot of seniors from the Polo Spectra and uh, esteemed members of the press right on time. Thank you. My name is Sonika Chopra. Joy and a pleasure and honor to be doing this with all of you. May I please invite uh, our chief guest, Arbaz Sir, Mr. Pinder Kaur, Dr. Vijay Agarwal, Nishant Mishra Sir, Mr. Ashwak Sheikh, Dr. Alok Pandey and Dr. Safi Uddin. <laughs> Can we have the music with the lamp lighting? Introduction, but it's my job to give it anyway. Uh, Mr. Arbaz Khan is an established actor in Bollywood for many years now and uh, also a very, very strong producer. Uh, since his debut in 96, he's acted in many leading and supporting roles, ventured into film production uh, with Dabang in 2010, in which he starred as the younger brother of his real life brother Salman Khan. Both of you make a fantastic duo. The film went on to become one of the highest grossing. Bollywood films of all time and he's won the national award for best popular film providing 
wholesome entertainment for the film. We are all, ladies and gentlemen, very happy to have him uh, get some time out for something very important for us. So uh, it will be lovely if, uh, ma'am, you can honor him with a small bouquet, uh, token of our appreciation for being here this morning. May I please invite uh, Dr. Vijay Agarwal to also do the honours for all the other important invitees today. Ms. Rupanda, if we can felicitate you now. Dr. Vijay, if you will please do the honours of giving a small token of our appreciation to her. Yes. Dr. Vijay, if you will uh, please continue to give us just a couple of more minutes to felicitate Mr. Rajkumar Sekhsariya, the famous studio owner. I believe you are here, sir. Yes, please. Good morning. Welcome. Namaskar. Ayan. Please take care, Ayan. The very, very famous studio, okay, very, very famous owner, Mr. Rajkumar Sekhsariya. Good morning, sir. Welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you for being here. Good morning, Dr. Sir Safiuddin Nadvi, consultant orthopedic. Maybe please do a small honor for you, sir. Dr. Safiuddin Nadvi. Dr. Safi Uddin Nadvi is a distinguished orthopedic surgeon with over 21 Dr. Alok Pandey is a consultant, joint replacement and orthopedic surgeon with over 15 years of experience. He has successfully performed more than 1,000 joint replacement surgeries, excelling in complex primary and revision hip and knee replacements. Can we now have Mr. Nishant Mishra, CMO, the Chief Marketing Officer, Apollo Health and Lifestyle Group. <coughs> May we please now have Mr. Ashfaq Sheikh. Mr. Ashfaq Musa Sheikh, Zonal Business Head, Apollo Spectra Hospitals, Mumbai. Will you please join us? I believe we have the honor of having the Consulate of Oman Badar Bahebi with us. Maybe please have you on the stage for a second, please. They are supposed to be there in 5 10 minutes. Hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, respected dignitaries on the dais, distinguished guests, doctors, and my friends from the media. It's an absolute pleasure to be here today, being a part of this healthcare event. Thank you, Ms. Kaur, Dr. Vijay, Dr. Alok, Dr. Sefuddin, and the entire Apollo team, and the management for giving me the honor to be here today. The field of uh, healthcare is deeply connected to society, and being a health and fitness enthusiast at personal level, I'm really thrilled to be among such a gathering. I'm sure whenever we think of healthcare or hospitals, one name that always pops up in our mind is none other than Apollo. And that's the leadership status and legacy Apollo has achieved today with the decades of hard work, patient service and commitment. 
Today, India is one of the front runners when it comes to quality healthcare, and our doctors are second to none. The whole world looks up to India for quality and cost effective medical treatment. All this started with the vision of Dr. Pratap Reddy 40 years back. I'm sure Apollo will continue to lead the way, bringing many more innovations and shaping the future of healthcare in India and beyond. When we talk about innovation, I believe technology plays a very important role. AI is transforming healthcare system by enhancing treatment outcomes and improving overall patient experience. Technology has changed the way we live and even healthcare is not untouched by it. If you are likely to develop a heart problem or maybe osteoarthritis in the next 10 years, you can get to know it today through some tests thanks to Apollo Pro Health. Imagine how easy, safe and simplified our lives have become thanks to such advancement made by Apollo. Then in case of surgeries, I remember back in the day when an injury to the bone or joint, especially in sports or cricket, would bring a long and painful recovery, you would now have to undergo you would have to go undergo open surgery. It would take months before you could fully recover and return to the game. But now things have changed so much. The technology is advancing so rapidly. Although robotic surgery has been around for a while, I've heard so much about the benefits, high accuracy, minimal scars, and extreme fast recovery. But what makes this even more special today is the fact that Apollo Spectra is offering this advanced technology in a daycare, boutique style, multi-speciality hospital setting. I believe this is the first and it is a fantastic news for the people of Mumbai. It means quicker recoveries and fewer disruptions to people's daily lives, which is what we exactly want. Spectra is a pioneer in daycare and short stay surgeries, offering cutting edge technology that helps patients recover faster. They have truly revolutionized the way people approach medical procedures and it's no surprise that they are the best and fastest growing chain of hospitals in this niche area. As we witness the launch of this robotic knee replacement system today, I am truly excited to be here in the company of so many esteemed doctors to witness the milestone in the field of orthopedic surgery. It's a revolutionary step forward, not just for Apollo Spectra, but the healthcare industry as a whole. Thank you doctors who are doing an incredible job of bringing the highest level of comfort and care to the patients. For all that, I applaud you. And it's been an honor to be here. Thank you very much. Thank you. And all the very best. <laughs> Row of guests, and you will allow us a few questions. Ideally, I want to ask what exercise you do, but <laughs> but uh, I'm bound to ask you medical-related questions today, uh, sir. So, as you have self-admitted that you're a uh, fitness enthusiast, clearly, uh, what would you think is good medical advice? for people who are fitness enthusiasts, uh, especially when they're not in their 20s anymore. But you are probably a teenagers now. You and your row of brothers. Yes. So, How do you do that? So the first... Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah. I think the most important thing is to be active mm -hmm. in some form of exercise if possible. A sedentary lifestyle is probably the worst thing that can, you can do to your health. It's, even worse. Yes. It's, it's, it's even worse than smoking or drinking or any abusive habit that you have. Because when you exercise, I, I think that's the time when, you know, whether it's, you know, flushing out toxins from the body or building muscle, because we now know that muscle is, is, is a longevity, longevity kind of organ, you know, it's yes. like it helps you live longer because as you grow older, you need your muscles to get up, to do activity. So when you exercise, you're also helping your joint health and all of that. So any form of exercise, whether it is swimming, running, basketball, weight training, aerobics, or any kind of those, you know, yoga for that matter, are very, very essential and important for mental and physical uh, you know benefits. You know, right, and you mentioned something really important, which is joint health. Yeah. So, how do you prevent uh, joint injuries, uh, especially so if you're regularly? I mean, exercise? to say it's it's uh, one has to be mindful about what kind of postures that you are in, even while you're exercising. Correct. Okay, so those those are important. Warm up before any kind of an activity is is important because some people tend to who are doing weight training sometimes just hit the gym and you know they just get into a kind of a you know. A, Workout, which right. is probably right. they are not yet prepared because 
I think the body still needs, you know, like maybe a five minute, you know, kind of stretching Correct. or something. Correct. Stretching Before is a very important thing. Stretching is also something that is very essential. So these are the few things if you do, they will really keep away uh, from, let's just say a person who exercises and has a fall and a person who doesn't exercise and, and have a fall. fall. If you have muscles around you, you can protect your bones. Right. People who are stronger, you know, if you like, let's just say the kind of uh, kind of acrobatic stuff that say a WWF guy does, he gets thrown and flung around and all of that happens. Why doesn't he get hurt? Springs back up in a microsecond. Why doesn't he yes. get hurt as yes. much as a normal guy if he had just properly twisted his foot? Right. What would happen to him? It's because you don't have the muscles to protect your bones, right? So I feel that. Muscles take away a lot of the injury shock. Yeah. So the first and most important. the doctors are agreeing completely with what you're saying. The first <laughs> most important thing yeah. that you need to do is to build muscle because that's your protective uh, gear towards any injury that happens. Right. People who have muscles will su su survive mm -hmm. far greater injuries than people who don't have muscles. Great, fantastic. So all this medical information that you are so I, I when I was very young, I was around 14. I. I met with a very serious uh, jeep accident and I was flung from an open jeep and I landed on my uh, leg, leg and I broke my femur. At 15? Yeah, I was about 14, 15 years old and I had a horrible uh, injury. Uh, fortunately, I mean to say it could have been even worse because I landed on my leg, I could have landed on my head, whatever. And I had a mangled leg right in front of me which had swollen to, to some cardinal board size. So the accident happened at about uh, 11, 11.30 in the morning, but my first attendance that I got to the doctor was about 4.30 in the evening, because first we had to go to my family doctor, then he suggested what needs to be done. So I was in a taxi till then, and my first medical attention happened at about 4.30, and then the doctors, because I was young at that time, had yeah, decided whether, be better. Whether, this, whether they decide that I should be put on, you know, my leg had to be, the bones had to be screwed or to be put on traction. So I think that time it was Harkishan Das Hospital and it was Dr. Bansal, if I could recollect. He was the one who kind of um, attended to me and he probably took some time to say okay, whether they should do those screws on my leg or to... to this Did thing. you have screws in your leg? No. Okay. So he took the decision for me to have traction. But it so happened is that when, my, when I healed, you know, sometimes the bones don't join accurately. Yes. So my, I had a limp for almost a year, year and a half oh. because my leg had probably been a little shorter than because of the injury, the joining. So I had, so, so when you, when the reason why I'm also very, very happy to be here because of the orthopedic situations of injuries to the bones is because I've undergone that scenario. Yes. And it had happened at an age where, you know, children play sports. So I used to play squash. And it was a high impact sport at that point in time. And because I broke my femur, I could not play those high impact sports for about a year, two years. Oh. And then it was never the same. So I, I, I could never recover to the, the what perfect. a normal fitness. Yeah. I did everything. I played all the sports. I played squash again. I swam again. I played cricket, whatever. But I always knew that my left that leg was never the same because it's the strongest bone in the body, right? Did you, you wish know? for some uh, robotic surgery? Ah, like I said, had <laughs> that situation. Then, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Maybe had that situation yeah. happened, maybe my recovery would have been faster. Maybe my healing would have been as uh, near normal as it should be. Right. So technology has come. I think people of today are actually luckier. you know luckier, luckier. and blessed that. Uh, that this situation is is there and you know i applaud all the people who <laughs> indulge in this kind of technology that i wish them all the best and doctors who perform these doctors uh, are having as excited yeah. as teenagers yeah, using yeah, this yeah, robotic yeah, surgery yeah, yeah. it's lovely to see but it, i'm sure robotic surgery but it's all assisted by them of it's course. all it's, it's all yes. done by them the robots are doing what they're being instructed to do yeah absolutely <laughs> yes absolutely. Yeah. thank god but that's a lovely <laughs> sharing that's so lovely of you to share something so personal but uh, it's absolutely appropriate for today's uh, uh, launch event. How do you see the role of technology? I think technology is something that is growing ever since now. Yeah. Like, you know, it's in every field of our life, we are using technology to, for anything for that matter. So, I guess... AI, robotics, it's all very Yeah, now how much of it is going to be, uh, you know, misused? You know, because like everything is like, they both end up, a knife is used for cutting fruits and also it can do some harm the other way. So everything is, whether the internet or any kind of, you know, social media for that matter, it's used, if it's used in the right way, then it's, then it's, very, it's very good. It's a good thing, yeah. Similarly, if, you know, if AI is used for detecting illnesses, maybe 
weeks or months, years in advance, which is such a blessing. Which is, such it's a very good that you're more probably probable that you're going to get this kind of a disease or this kind yeah. of a, you know, yeah. something happened That's to you, and if you could come to that conclusion. It's, it's very good that you could prevent so many of those uh, illnesses or situations which probably had... Would and prevent disaster. Yeah. Right. Yeah, okay. last minute, you know, which... Fantastic. Lovely. So lastly, uh, about a polo, I have some weird uh, stories from my childhood. I used to wear uh, a, a polo bandage just to look fancy because as a polo was a fancy hospital. Any stories you have? Apollo is today a leading name. Yeah, yeah, so we always heard of this hospital because some of the very prominent people used to be admitted. Exactly. So yeah. It's like any kind of dignitary or any kind of statement. Yeah. Would, uh, Apollo you know, was the probably, name. Probably had a name. Yes. You know, severe heart attack or needed a very, very serious surgery. I mean, the only uh, hospital that we used to hear about where they, they used to go or they used to want to go was yeah. Apollo. So that's, yeah. that's something that they've earned since ever, you know. So that's a great so, name, yes. you know. Yes, yes, that's right. All right. So I hope you, you and your family never get to need to use a hospital. If that is the case, then probably Apollo is the place. Right. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Lovely, lovely conversing with you. All right. I believe uh, the consulate from Oman, sir, you are here. Can we please felicitate you? Mr. Badar Bahebi. May yeah, I please invite Mr. Ashfaq Sheikh to, fil for, to fil uh, felicitate Mr. Badar Bahebi, the Consulate of Oman. Mr. Sheikh, if you will just do the honors, please. Good morning and thank you for being here this morning, sir. Lovely to have you here as one of our esteemed guests. I believe you have a few words to say to us, sir. If you will say a Pichana, why? Okay. <laughs> Related to the medical बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया सेम रोबोटिक होने वाला है अब जैसा कि सर्जरी जी लोगों की सर्जरी की प्रॉब्लम जो है सब कुछ रोबोटिक होने वाला है आप जब यहां पर आए हैं और आप स्पेशली आप बातें करते हैं तो क्या कुछ कहना चाहेंगे कि ये जिस तरह से रोबोटिक होने वाला है लोगों की सर्जरी नहीं चिचिक से लोग बचेंगे या ऑपरेशन से बड़े-बड़े ऑपरेशन से बचेंगे तो ये टेक्नोलॉजी के बारे में क्या कहेंगे तो सबसे पहली बात तो मेडिकल फील्ड में बहुत एडवांसमेंट हुआ है और जैसे कि डॉक्टर आलोक ने डॉक्टर सफियुद्दीन ने कहा है कि जो एक 20 परसेंट जो पेशेंट्स जो कभी-कभी सर्जरी से ना खुश होते थे अभी ये रोबोटिक सर्जरी जो इतना एडवांस्ड है जो उसकी प्रॉपर मैपिंग करती है जो पूरा यू नो एक्यूरेसी के साथ वो हेल्प करती है एसिस्टेड बाय द डॉक्टर्स उसमें वो गुंजाइश जो है वो कम हो जाती है एडवांसमेंट इज हैपनिंग इन एवरी फील्ड एंड सो इज हैपनिंग इन द मेडिकल फील्ड एंड दिस इज अ वेरी वेलकम इंट्रोडक्शन इन टू द मेडिकल फील्ड के द रोबोट्स आर गोइंग टू हेल्प यू नो मेक सर्जरी इज अ लिटल मोर ईजी एंड यू नो रिकवरी विल बी फास्टर प्रसिशन विल बी मच बेटर सो इसका ये बहुत बड़ा एडवांटेज है Arbaz has already told that the most important reason is that we don't exercise, we have very sedentary life. We gain weight, we use unwanted food, we are not having balanced diet. So that is the reason why we are like having a arthritis in early age. 
Sir, just whenever we have seen arthritis getting the knee getting bad at the age of 32, 30, even less than that. We are trying to reach out there. We are having a special plan for that people and spectra is that uh, to help those people only. Because as my uh, CEO, Ms. Rupinda Kaur, has already said that we have this thing because when we go to the tertiary hospital, definitely the things are being on the higher hand end. So we are giving everything which is uh, which uh, normal people, as you said, the people who don't afford for that. Exactly. So we can we are trying to accommodate those people in our hospital. Okay. So, yeah. so I want to ask you, what inspire you to participate in such events? So these are definitely like social awareness events. Our the normal jo hum events, a like film. Uh, personalities who attend karte hain, wo, they are a little different from this these these are very cause or oriented uh, events which we as people from the society should also kind of encourage because this is something that we need to embrace in terms of the, the technology and all that stuff so Apollo hospital has been doing such great work o over a very long period of time having some of the best doctors taking care of people and whenever they come up with some new technology and whenever they come up with advanced uh, you know methods of you know operating i think it's it's good to bring awareness uh, in that sense so is wajah se kabhi bhi aise opportunities milte hain ki aise events mein apne aap ko participate karna ya koi awareness lana so somebody like me is always very up to it so nowadays some bachche jo hai wo social media pe zyada active rehte hain hum bahar ke apne apni injury ki baat ki thi jab aap 14 saal ke the jo injury hui thi tab us time pe sab khelte the aaj ke time pe hum ek kona pakad ke apne social media apne instagram ye sab kuch chhod to ye sari cheezon ke kaise nikle bahar aur parents bhi ab is pe kuch react nahi kar rahe i guess to parents have to play a very important role in that you know abhi bachche jab tak bachche आपके कंट्रोल में हैं तब आप उनको एक होता है कि टाइम दैट यू अलाउट देम फॉर बीइंग ऑन सोशल मीडिया एंड ऑल दैट एवरीथिंग हैज़ टू बी यू नो बच्चे यू कैन नॉट कम्प्लीटली डिप्राइव देम ये तो फैक्ट है कि आज बच्चों को लैपटॉप आईपैड फ़ोन से आप बिल्कुल दूर नहीं रख सकते उनका सिर्फ आप टाइम मिनिमाइज़ कर सकते हैं क्योंकि कुछ चीज़ें ऐसी हैं कि उनको आप एकदम डिप्राइव करोगे तो वो पीछे भी रह जाते हैं बिकॉज बहुत सी चीज़ें आज you know you learn from the internet and all that stuff and you don't want your child to be totally you know lagging behind but you should minimize the time for everything there is a small time that is allotted this is my sports important hai reading important hai social media pe ke upar bhi participate karna important hai so i guess wo wo sirf kya hota hai ki timing ka aage piche ho jata hai log children are spending far more time you know in their rooms in their on social media and on phones then they are on playgrounds or in and being active in any sport जैसे कि मैंने कहा कि आज सबसे ज़्यादा जो बड़ी बीमारी जो है ना वो है सेडेंट्री लाइफ स्टाइल देर इज़ नॉट अ सिंगल डिजीज और अ प्रॉब्लम दैट डजेंट कम फ्रॉम फ्रॉम सेडेंट्री लाइफ स्टाइल यू कुड बी यू नो यू कुड बी वीगन यू कुड बी नॉन नॉन वेजी वेजिटेरियन यू कुड नॉट बी ड्रिंकिंग यू कुड नॉट बी स्मोकिंग बट इफ यू सिट ऑन सिट ऑन अ चेयर ऑल डे यू हैव मोर प्रॉब्लम दैन पीपल हु डूइंग एनी ऑफ दीज बिकॉज दे एक्सरसाइज एंड वॉट एवर इट इज तो इट्स अ बींग एक्टिव इज द फर्स्ट मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग जब भी आपको मौका मिले आपको थोड़ी सी एक्टिविटी करनी चाहिए और वो आपको बहुत सी चीज़ों से बचाएगा तो बच्चों को सबसे पहले वो बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट होता है समझाना लाइक आई सेट फर्स्ट एंड फॉर्मस गेट इन्वॉल्व इन एनी काइंड ऑफ फिजिकल एक्टिविटी एंड अलॉन्ग विथ फिजिकल एक्टिविटी आई थिंक टूडे वॉट इज रियली नीडेड इज इम्प्रूविंग योर मेंटल हेल्थ because we have been affected a lot by so much of uh, you know things around us that you know today every news is coming to us good bad ugly and all and subah uthte hain to hum instagram on karte hain to humne kuch aisi cheez dekhi newspaper padhte hain ya tv dekhte hain to constantly hamara jo dimag hai na wo constantly i would say negativity se but bahut si cheeze jo pehle humko itni nahi aati thi khabar sunne ke liye humko bar bar be getting kind of bombarded with that kind of scenario and it has an impact so how to desensitize yourself from it how to get numb to it is also important let's just say that they are orthopedic surgeons right abhi इनके पास किस किस्म के केसेस आते हैं इंजरी टू एन एक्सीडेंट कोई गाड़ी का एक्सीडेंट हो गया कोई गिर गया सीढ़ियों से गिर गया कुछ हो गया अब ये अगर डर जाएंगे खुद के अरे ये क्या हो गया तो ये ऑपरेट नहीं कर पाएंगे यू गॉट माई पॉइंट सो दे हैव टू बी 
in a very good state of mind. Similarly, I mean to say with all what is happening around us, we also get affected by it. How? एक तो है कि हमको सेंसिटिव तो होना ही है दुनिया में जो हो रहा है बट एट द सेम टाइम हाउ वी कैन स्टिल कीप आर माइंड कूल एंड नॉट ओवर रिएक्ट टू थिंग्स एंड हाउ नॉट डू एनी काइंड ऑफ यू नो काउंटर एक्ट ऑन दैट सेंस सो मेंटल हेल्थ अलॉन्ग विथ फिजिकल इट्स इट्स अ कॉम्बिनेशन तो दोनों चीज़ें सो वेदर इज योगा मेडिटेशन यू नो थिंग्स दैट यू नो यू रीड लर्न बहुत जरूरी होता है वो सब चीज़ें करना Thank you, Arpa ji. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you. Any any message for Spectra? Yeah. Spectra, I mean to say, they're doing a great job. <laughs> they're they they are they are so advanced in their technology, and they keep coming up with innovative ways to treat people. And I guess that's that's their uh, policy, and that's how they're going to keep going from strength to strength. Yeah, they're they're amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, Arpa. Thank you very much.